Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at a railway station. It appears to be quite a quiet railway station, but I can guarantee the rest of this site is a lot busier than this. I'm at Statfold Junction at the Statfold Barn Railway in Staffordshire, somewhere I've always, always wanted to go to. Today, I finally got here. You might have just heard steam whistles. You will hear steam whistles and steam trains throughout the video because um, there's quite a few, there's at least seven steam locos out today. It's not a gala. When I have a gala, it'd be even busier, but I thought I'd come here today. It's my first visit on a quieter day, and then I'll have to come back for a gala. So here we are at Statfold Junction. I'm not going to... There's no trains running on this platform today, but if we go over the footbridge, you'll see there. Oh, certainly trains running, and we'll have a look around the site. There's actually also a model rail exhibition on today. Um, so I won't make a huge thing of looking at all the layouts, but we'll certainly, um, I'll point out one or two of them. So as I come up onto the footbridge, we come from, it's almost like a separate station, but this is the other side of Statfold Junction. You do get some stations like this on the network that have like a platform slightly out the way. Um, trying to think of one like uh, Wrexham General it reminds me a bit of that it's like a narrow gauge similar to a narrow gauge version of Wrexham General there's one of the many locos I've travelled behind today Howard you see the turntable up there so all I've had six locos for haulage today it's towards the end of the day they've all been winners that means I've not travelled behind them before so what happens here is Howard has arrived with a train soon another steam train will pull in to this platform and then there's another steam loco waiting around the corner. That will take the train back. And then um, there's another steam engine at the end of this one, which we'll go and have a look at. That that will depart. So it's a very, um, quite an intense service day run here. But while we wait for a train to arrive, we'll just have a look at a couple of things at this end of the site. This is the more sort of garden end of the site, and I'll get onto the garden railway in a minute. Let's have a look through here. We can't go through this. There's no entry. I'll show you this carriage there. This is... Um, one of the Sierra Leone railway carriages. It was either this carriage or one of her sisters. I rode behind at the Welsh Pool Landfair Railway a few years ago. Well, it was back in about 2005. I really should visit that one again. Uh, I'll see lots of locos and carriages today, which I have seen at other railways. So um, some of them, it's made me realise. I think, oh yeah, I haven't been there for 20 odd years, so I need to revisit some of them. So here we are, here's Statfold Junction Station. I think I can hear the sound of a train coming up the gradient. Waiting to work the next train is a locomotive called Alpha. So what we'll do, we'll just um, hang around here and see the train arrive. the trains arriving that was the first loco I traveled behind today so there's three trains out but as I said there's six locos although two of them are double heading there's two Hunslet so what probably happened now is Alpha will depart with her train and then two more locos will take over so where that um well ex World Pool Land Fair ex Sierra Leone carriage was was just up there you can see the line going down there what I'm going to try and do is um Get to, there's a little viewing area where we can see the train go past. Show you this bit in a minute. This bit's coming up, it's got to run past still. So, as we go down here, this is viewing area. So, if we go up here, when I came up here the first time this morning, I thought this is funny, it just takes you up into a hedge, and you think, Well, where am I going to down this path? It feels more like being in a maze, than, but it takes you to a viewing area as we come down here. As if I'm curious to steam workers, these are the two Hunslets we have, so they're waiting to take over the next train. If you have a look at the um, signal over there, the signal's pulled off, so that's for Alpha to depart with her train. Now, the interesting thing about these two, these are two sisters, but they were built 99 years apart. And so one was built in 2006, and the other, that one there, Statfold, and Sybil Mary was built in 1905. That's Statfold Junction signal box. So you can see the signalman, he's standing there. There goes the guard's whistle. Oh, and by the way, if you think my face looks dirty, that's because I've been standing on the balcony right behind one of the steep locos. And this gradient is pretty steep, and it's not the only steep gradient, so hence why I've got a bit of a dirty face. Anyway, let's watch Alpha go past. See the signalman, he's going to exchange tokens with the 
drive back. Second, there we go. So, and then one of these little dollies in a minute should go for the um, for, for these two. See, there we go. See how middle one just dropped. So these two have now got the road to go back to the station. So they will work one of the next trains. So we'll just see them go, and then we'll go and explore the rest of the site. So should be going any moment. I've always like Corey Hunsett, so I'm not sure how many there are because 20 years ago there wasn't as many as there are now. So they've started building them again because places like Statfold have built them, various other places, and they're such a nice little loco, perfect for the most narrow gauge railways. So you'll see them everywhere from Wales to Cornwall. First had my trip behind them. So my first trip behind the Quarry Hunslet was at the Launceston Steam Railway in the 1990s. If you want to have a look at that video, have a look at link on screen now. So I'm going to retrace my steps up here. You may have seen we rushed past the little narrow gauge um, area where there were some wagons. We'll go and have a look at those and then we'll continue to explore the rest of the site. So we'll come back down these steps and just here is where we were a moment ago. So we'll go through to this area here. You can see there's a turntable and a couple of locos and various narrow gauge um, wagons. And there's those Hunsets again, just through there. There's more wagons in this curved shed. So this curved shed joins up with the railway line where we've just been. So let's have a look around here. There's nothing moving here. And you can see there's two gauges, two foot and two foot six. Or oh, that's what I'm 99% sure they are. I should, I keep thinking this. When I go to narrow gauge railways, it, just in case I'm not sure, I should take a tape measure with me just to be sure to be sure, but anyway, I'm fairly sure. Nice little guards van, P-way brake van. So there's the, so the guard would turn this wheel. A lot of people mistake it for being a steering wheel. People don't know much about railways. It's not a steering wheel, it's the brakes. What's the inside? I've ridden in these before. We were having a ride on one at the Tala Glen Railway. It was great fun riding down from the hills. That looks like a ballast wagon. And there is literally so much stuff I can't possibly go through what everything is. And I don't actually know too much about everything is. So there's these two locos here. I'm not too sure what they are. I guess I'd say they're mining locos. I'd thought they're electrics. They probably work down in mines, but I might be wrong. And if I am wrong, do comment and tell me. I'd love to know what they are. I have bought the guidebook, which lists all the stock. So, which I haven't actually had a chance to look at because there's so much here. I got here fairly early this morning. I got here about 11 o'clock came up on the train, they put a vintage bus on, which we'll probably see some of the vintage buses, they put a vintage bus on from Tamworth Railway Station, so that's how I got here, there's another shed there, there's even a bit of what looks to be standard gauge track up there, I know they have had standard gauge track in the past, so as you go around here, it says tram this way and garden, so yeah they've got trams here, they've got a garden railway, oh look there's Howard which we saw at the railway station, so Howard will wait here for his next turn, or her next turn, to work the train. This looks like a standard gauge piece of rolling stock. A steam crane. So it's, um, and it does power it. It would have powered itself, because you can tell by the gears on the on the wheels, if you have a look underneath. Or at least, I think it possibly powers itself. So that was built in Bedford. So there's another railway here called the Garden Rail, which isn't actually running today. So if you look here, there's a rather sharp railway going off there through those gates so that's the garden railway so that's not open today but that's not a problem because it's a brilliant reason to come back here again i personally chose to come here today not on one of their gala days because i knew i really wanted to explore the site and i feel if i'd come on the gala day 
I'll just be, I mean, it's been fairly overwhelming with just so much stuff going on today. So if I come on a gala day, you know, I thought I'll come and see the site on a quieter day. And I do wonder why I've never been here before. <laughs> it's, um, it's an amazing place. There's a diesel loco. We're going to see so many locos. Just you wait, later on in this video, we're going to just keep, it's going to get ridiculous fairly soon. Come around here. Private tramway level crossing. Yes, they have trams here. Um, we're just crossing a stream at the moment. This bridge takes us over a stream. Um, and on the other side is the garden rail, which as I said, we're not doing today because it's not running. So when we get to here, see it says tram this way. So you'd cross the track and go and have your ride on the tram, which I did this morning. So that's the tram stop. And um, just see over there, that shed. That's the tram shed really good here I was standing down here earlier on and when a train comes up this hill they really open up and it, it's pretty mad you can just see through the trees the garden railway so as I said the reason to come back but there's loads of reasons to come back so what I'm doing now is I'm following the railway down the hill so that was the Statfold Junction there's three stations which you can travel on and off today um, and then the train goes off on a big loop right the way around to the other side of that field and they've also got another loco working what's called driver for a fiver but the queue was about an hour long so i thought well it'd be fun but i'll give that a miss and here comes a tram it seems really funny seeing this tram just running through the fields with no wires or anything i'll explain where the trams come from and she's gone past but i'll let you watch it go past So that is a Burton and Aspey Light Railways tram number 14. So she worked not too far from here actually, but what happened was she, I believe she ended up in America. And then a few years ago, she was up for sale. So the opportunity was taken to bring her back to the UK. And it's quite nice. She now runs here nearer to where she would have worked. The interesting thing was, I'm not sure which gauge she previously was, but they had to obviously re-gauge her to two foot or is she two foot six to one of those gauges to work here? And she must be fitted with an electric motor because as you can see, there are no overhead wires here. So, so yeah, this is it's like railway line. What looks like a tramway isn't what the tram's running on, just to confuse everyone. And then the tram is over on the far tracks. There's three tracks running along here. And there's also, I said we went over a river, but there's a stream, there's a stream running down here. So I'm going down the hill now. The station ahead is Strawberry Park. So when you get there, when they come back, they don't. They take through. And then the next station, which isn't far around the corner, is Oak Tree Holt. So when trains are going in that direction, they don't call it Oak Tree Holt, but they do on the way back. And as I said, they go off for a trip around the loop. You may see, if there is a train going along, they will see the smoke in the distance. So that's um, where they go. The plan is to eventually extend it, take the train. It brings a massive... Uh, gradient but up past those farm buildings so yes yeah, there's another train coming so this is a train passing through strawberry park on the through line oh, and by the way in that building is the one of the halls housing the model rail exhibition we, we'll go and have a quick look i'm not going to show you every layout because that will take a long time and um they're all very good layouts but here's number 19 coming we'll watch her go past goes up the hill. Number 19 was built by Hudswell Clark in Leeds. So, um, so some of the locos are newer, but I think all the ones out today are older ones. So this is Strawberry Park Station. So as I said, we'll go out the front and I'll show you a few things. So when, when I arrived here, when I came on this vintage bus from the railway station, I arrived just the other side of this fence, which um, you'll see very shortly. And then I, I came in here. So as I hadn't been here before, I just came here and a train pulled in, so I got on it. Um, so, here we go. There's a big American truck here on display. You can see some of the buses, so I came on, that isn't the bus I came on, 
It was an old Walsall bus from the Wyville or Wivel Transport Museum, which has a miniature railway. So I have been there in the past, but at some point we'll go there to do an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. Talking of Miniature Railway Britain, over there when I came in, I noticed there's a Miniature Railway under construction. So once that starts running to the public, that too will be featured in Miniature Railway Britain. So there's at least two more Miniature Railways in the pipeline for me to visit. So this is this big shed here, which has lots of model railways. We're going to have a very quick look. I'm not going to show them all because it would make the video a long, long video, but it just shows you can have a great time here if you do come here for the day because there are so many model railways to see. So as we go in, just give you an idea, and there's various trade stands, quite a lot going on. Look at this one because there's quite a lot going on with this one. This is Hornby Model Railway. Watch the train go past, and then we'll go back outside. It's quite amusing what's coming. It's the APT, the gas turbine APT, painted in intercity. So just have a watch her as she goes past. She needs the help from the hand of God by the looks of it. So there she goes with a fictional livery. You may remember a while ago I did make a video where we went in the real APT, the one that's preserved at Crewe. If you want to see that video, have a look at the link on the screen now. Let's have a look at something different now, double fairly. I've ridden behind some double fairies in the past on the Fastinio Railway. As I said, this whole hall is completely full of model railways, but um, I'm not going to show them all because, like I say, we made the video very, very long. Oh, look, that's the bus I came on. See that blue bus over there? The other side of the car park, that's the one I came on. What we're going to do now, we're going to have a look at a few other things, and um, there's basically a room full of locomotives. There's so many locomotives, I haven't counted them all, but it's got to be, I don't know, on the whole site today, it's got to be. I'd say getting on for a hundred, maybe not quite, maybe seventy odd. A lot, though. Um, so it's kept me entertained all day. I don't know if I've ever seen in the UK that is so many narrow gauge locos in one day. So here's a couple of the buses. So I'll be getting the last one back to Tamworth Station at five o'clock. We're going to go over here um, where these sheds are. There's a few interesting things to see over there, and then we're going to go into. This shed, which houses more of the model rail exhibition, and it also houses just loads and loads and loads of locos. This is nice, a little van, Stat Tat uh, Statfold Palm Railway, in the Lost in Van. And I said, that's the bus which brought me here, and it probably will take me back again. So you go to this little corner here. I hadn't noticed this till when I first got here. There's various assortment of interesting vehicles including this huge excavator, a few road vehicles, and then it gets more interesting for me, I think. So, I mean, these are good, these road vehicles, but there's a, a narrow gauge diesel loco over there. There's this enormous engine built in Stockport. It's like a horse and trap there. Now these funny looking locos, I believe these are electric locos, from either to Norwich Quarry in North Wales. If it's not to Norwich, it's another quarry. If you know which quarry, do comment and tell me. Not sure where that loco works. I've had one of these, a similar one of these on the Welsh Island Heritage Railway, one that worked on the Channel Tunnel. But this one says Lower Lee Cable Tunnel. So that's obviously where that works on the construction of a tunnel. This is a big beast of a loco. It looks just like a little shunter, but then you realise how long it is and powerful it must be. A couple more diesels, they're getting smaller and smaller now. So there's some of your diesel locos. But imagine a shed, about 10 times the size of that, full of steam locos. That is what we're going to see soon. There's that van again. Now, um, we 
could go in that way, that would be the shorter way in. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you the other way around just because I think um, it will, I want to save the real best bits till last. And also we might see some other trains on the way. There's a boiler over there, steam locus boiler. There's just things lying, everywhere you look there's something off something or, yeah, there'll be a steam loco, you know, a miniature one or a model one. It just seems, you, you sort of walk around, you miss something the first time and then you find it again. That's that stream again, which we walked over and off down there. So as we come towards here, that was Strawberry Park Station just over there. That path here provides a shortcut to Strawberry Park Station. And we're back to, oh look, the two Hunslets, which we saw getting ready to take over the train. They're just calling it Strawberry Park. So what we'll do, we'll walk up here to Oak Tree Hall before we sit past there. This junction here, this goes through those gates and into this huge shed, which I mentioned a moment ago, we're gonna go and have a look around. Um, it's very exciting inside that shed. I was just like, when I walked in, I, I mean, I was expecting a lot, but I was just like, what is this much? I, I, I just could not believe the sheer scale of how many things there were here. So what will happen is the two hundreds will come up here and then there's another train, you might have just heard the whistle of, waiting just round the corner at Oak Tree Holt. So um, that will, well, they'll pass each other. So what we'll do, are they ready to go? It looks like people are getting on off. While we wait for them, we'll have a look in this little area here. So, um, where are we? Yeah, we're gonna go in there soon. But first, I just wanna show you a couple of things here. So there's a few interesting things here. There's a um, narrow gauge carriage. The other end of the tram line is just over here. If we go through to here, there's a little sweet shop there. You can say about locos bit everywhere. There's a loco there. There's a traction engine there. We'll go through to here, and um, there's a train waiting here. I'm not sure which loco's on it. If you're wondering why the Holt's called Oak Tree Holt, there's your answer. So that's Alpha, which we saw earlier on in the video, waiting here for train. I've not been there, but it reminds me of what I've seen, what the Baird de Somme railway in northern France looks like. It looks a bit similar, similar carriages. You stand outside. People who've been there tell me it's just so nice you can stand outside and enjoy being on the train, enjoy the views. So we get to here. The police cadets are patrolling the level crossing. There's the tram. So we'll wait and see a train get past. So it looks as though the tram has now finished for today. So I did have a ride. I didn't actually get to go upstairs because there was a queue and um, I was concentrating on riding as much as I possibly could. So um, yeah, we've just got to wait to see the train pass now. What I might do actually is. Um, because I don't know how long it's going to be and it's getting towards the end of the day. I might just skip that one. But if you have a look at the link to the actual video I've made of the gala, there's going to be plenty of run bys in that. So you will see lots of trains passing. So um, there's certainly no shortage of trains there. So Alpha's waiting to go. Let's go and show you what I actually came here for. There's so many different things to see. There's this hall here, this has got like micro layouts, really, really small layouts. But we're gonna go through here to this building here. Mm, typical, there goes the train, but you can just hear them steaming through. But like I said, do watch the other video. You'll see everything in there. We're going into that building. We're gonna take you this way because there's a couple of other locos I can show you on the way. Um, so that would be quite fun. Look around here. And there's just things everywhere to see. And this, I'm really not quite sure what it is, but some sort of steam engine. There's this loco, which I'm pretty sure is a compressed air loco. It works in a mine somewhere. I think that might be Beamish, that picture behind. Diesel loco, built in Leeds. Now, we go through to here. This is where the main bulk of the model railway exhibition is held. It goes upstairs as well, yeah. It goes upstairs. Um, I'll quickly walk around here to show you a couple of things on the way. Layouts are everywhere. There's one up here I do quite like. Um, you'll see why in a second. This layout here is quite cool because it's actually live steam. I saw some steam locos working, whether we will now, but it was... So again, that'll be in the main video. 
some of the live steam we saw here. We walk through to here. There's locos everywhere. These are all, of all sorts of different things. Yeah, see what I mean by locos everywhere. There's like a little under tank engine there. Ooh, let's just run past. I think there's a steam loco coming out on that live steam one. So we've got to, we'll see that go by. some upstairs in fact let's go this way again there's more diesels even up there so it's just a bit mad this place for seeing so many different locos sort of like there's all these bookstores but behind them there's other locos I'm feeling this one's standard gauge not entirely sure again do comment and tell me those model railways Right, question is, do we go upstairs or stay downstairs? I think what we'll do, we will go upstairs and then I'll show you the view that is a little bit unexpected but pretty amazing. We'll go up there. And as I said about there being locos everywhere, model, miniature. Look at that, that's a channel tunnel construction loco. Cute little loco here. And then we come to the upstairs which, um, well, firstly gives us quite a good view over this part of the exhibition. But we can see the locals up here, look, more, more Corey Hunslets. This one's actually been cut away, so you can see the interior workings of a steam loco. I'm not going to go through in too much detail, but basically, fire is in there, the heat flows through the tubes, and then there's water. This is the tank here, which is blue. The water is injected into the boiler, goes up to the dome where the steam is once it becomes steam and then the steam obviously powers the cylinders. Let's have a look at this loco from her, her good side though so you can see what she really looks like. So she's called Gertrude, she was built in Leeds in 1909 to works number 995. So that's, um, and then here's one of her sisters, built quite a lot later in 1932. This is Mitchell, or not, Michelle. This one's quite a cool name, King of the Scarlets. As you can see, some have a cab, some don't, but they're basically the same loco. So she was built in 1889, so she's built 100 years before I was born. And there's a picture of her King of the Scarlets at work, probably at the Norwich Quarry. We have um, Huns that didn't just build steam locos, they built diesel, in fact they still build diesels today. This one was built in 1939, but her work's number is 2019. So, now this is where, oh and there's a bubble car. Oh. We're going to go through a door in a minute and this is where it's really going to go mad. Oh look at those works plates all over the wall. It's going to get mad in a second. So right, one last view over the model rail exhibition. Oh and there's a few more locos up here. Little, little locos down there. And there's one just here. And then steam loco up here. Now. We're going to see a mega collection of narrow gauge locos. Look at this. That is just mad. It's just like, just, I don't know what to say, but it's just so exciting to come to somewhere and find this many locos. It's just amazing. With a huge turntable in it. We're going to go and have a look at all these locos, of course. We can't not do. This is where, look, they've come from all over the world. This diagram shows you all the parts of the, shows you all the parts of the world they've worked. So just about everywhere. And then there's another one, I think, along here. This one shows you all the countries in the world where they were built. And then and also parts of the UK where they were built. Oh, my shadow. And so quite a few in Europe. Even one was built in Africa. A couple of American locos. I'll show you which ones are American. You might even know already by looking at them from up here. The exhibition's starting to pack up now, so um, it's quite a good time to come and have a look round. You can see some of them need a lot of work doing before they're ever going to run again, but 
that's all part of the fun. So we come to the ground and here's some of the various locos. So like I said, I I'm not going to comment and tell you what every single one is, but some of them I will. I'm just going to sort of walk past them all really. Um, so these are various industrial diesel locos. Quite a lot of locos here are industrial, not all of them, most of them are. Some of them would have worked on various railways, and again, I don't know too much. So this one's of interest to me. Atlas, if you can have a look, it says Abbey Light Railway. And that's a picture of the ruined Kirkstall Abbey over in Leeds. It was a narrow gauge railway near the Abbey. Unfortunately, it closed when the owner passed away. Uh, I never actually rode on that one, but one day we'll go back there and we will do a video, a non-railway video on Kirkstall Abbey. Interesting winch. So as we come down here, now here's some of the more weirder, unusual things, but no less very exciting there's this Land Rover and yes it's on railway wheels even though it still has a steering wheel now I've seen this Land Rover in action it was at Adrian Shooter's railway and the beaches like railway over in Oxfordshire I did go to one of their open days once I don't think there's any footage of this but if you have a look at the link on screen now you can see the footage of the steam loco the Darjeeling steam loco there's this rather mad looking rail car called the Goose and I remember this Sandy River parlour car this was at Adrian Shooter's railway and then there's an American loco there. I'm going to have a look at that properly in a minute. The um, sound of steam you can hear now, that's all playing out on speakers. This loco is actually German, built by Orestein and Koppel, a German company. So it's, it's got a tender. There's another loco, the second loco we've come across is called Howard, although Howard's quite new, despite having a versatile boiler, only built in 2007. Another little diesel loco. Come around here, as I said, it is getting towards the end of the day, hence why a lot of the um, stalls are being packed up. But that's why I waited till the end of the day to make this video. Come to here, again, more locos to look at. Have a look, here's an American one here with the pollen car from the Beaches Light Railway. Here's her plate. Davenport Locomotive Works, Iowa. I bet the builders, when they built this loco in Iowa, had no idea she'd end up on a farm in Staffordshire for her retirement. Another diesel loco, Kerr Stewart loco, there's a few of these around. I've ridden behind one or two of them. They're another one which they've built a few newer ones in preservation, but this one was built in 1918 over in Stoke-on-Trent. Here's, here's two of the locos awaiting restoration. Now this loco here, this one's at um, Quarry Hunsett Cloister, I have had for haulage back in November 2004 at the Cubridge Steam Museum. So she was built in 1891 so again she's quite old but I have had her for haulage um, when she was there the other loco that used to work there I'll show you is just around here this one Wendy she also used to work there but I've not not had her for haulage big saddle tank it almost could be mistaken for being standard gauge she's a pecket have a look there we go so we'll continue to walk around see what else we can see I think they're going to close soon, so I'm going to have to wrap up this video. Another quarry hunter called Jonathan. Um, this one I particularly like round here. It's a mallet, so it's articulated. And then we'll go to round here and we'll finish up on the turntable. So, yeah, do have a look at... It's just mad, this place. I just can't believe to see so many locos. And then on the turntable, there's another few locos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And from the Statfold Glan Railway, please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Do come and visit one of their events. Thank you very much. Goodbye.